Hey there, I'm Robin, and today we are taking a look under the hood at a simple and cost-effective way of inspecting the AC system in your car. Visual Diagnostics. Today, we will learn about a simple and cost-effective way of inspecting the AC system. One of the main tools you're going to be using will be your eyes. That's right, you heard me friend, I'm talking about a visual inspection of your air conditioning system. This is a very simple and effective method, and it should become part of the regular check of your vehicle. Now, here are some advantages to this method. One, it really works. There are so many things you can spot visually, and it enables you to quickly spot some alarming symptoms and prevent serious and costly failures, like compressor seizure. Two, it doesn't take much time, which gives you more time to perform other services in the garage. And finally, it takes simple tools to do the job. Now, let's take a look under the hood. Besides an AC service unit, our eyes are the first and most crucial tool here. So, get your lenses cleaned and your visual senses sharpened and you'll be good to go. There are many things you can observe with the naked eye. This goes mainly for the outer parts of the system. Surfaces, connections, and seals. These you can always verify from the outside of the loop. But to get inside and keep the system tightly closed, you may need the right tools. All right, so visual inspection glass is the tool that I wanna show you in this episode. Let's go take a look. So here it is. It's pretty simple as you can see. It's a sight glass with some connections and valves. It's the closest you're gonna to get to being inside of your system without actually having to open it up. Now, this tool will allow you to see the medium flowing in your system. The medium is the refrigerant and oil which is in your system. Various conditions have their specific look which is easily spotted with using this tool. The medium will flow inside the glass and closing these valves will allow you to see the medium's condition. The valves will help you capture the medium and avoid it getting outside into the atmosphere, which is illegal in many countries. Also, you'll be able to suck the contents back into the system. So let's go start the diagnosis. First, you need to spot the system service ports to get connected to the right spots matching respectively the hot and low pressure sides of the system. Before using the sight glass, remember to vacuum it, including the hoses. The best way of doing this will be with the help of your AC service unit. Connect the tool to the unit and run the vacuum program for about five minutes. This will eliminate atmospheric air from the unit and prevent moisture from getting inside the system. Close the ball valves on the sight glass. Connect the tool's hoses to the vehicle's service ports using their spring couplings. Now you can start the engine. and turn the AC system on to produce cold air. And now it's time to start troubleshooting. Hold the sight glass in a vertical position and slowly and gradually open the high pressure ball valve on the tool. This will start getting the refrigerant and oil inside the sight glass. Keep it open until the glass fills up by about a quarter. When filled, you can close the valve. Let the refrigerant stabilize. Just wait a couple of seconds until the mixture gets even and bubbles disappear. What you see now is a mixture of refrigerant and some part of the lubricant trapped. Observing the mixture's look will let us determine the system's condition. It's as simple as that, and the look of the mixture can tell you a lot. For example, impurities will indicate some heavy contaminants inside, which means you have a need for flushing. Some sort of impurities will indicate that the compressor may suffer from first phase of seizing, as black Teflon or aluminum chips mean some excessive frictions inside it. Visibly separate bubbles will most likely indicate moisture inside. If it's milky or unclear, it could be some dangerous residues of other substances inside, like flushing agents, detergents, or leak stops. They shouldn't be there, and all these can have a catastrophic consequence for the compressor. And finally, the color of the mixture tells you all about the health of the system. A healthy system should look transparent, with no color, like water. A light green color is okay and means that a UV dye agent was applied in the correct amount. But heavy use of the UV dye is very bad for the system. You can instantly tell there's too much of a UV dye agent if it's a more greenish dark color, like this. The dark color range of mixture, starting from a light gray to brownish and up to a very dark and even black color indicate various stages of overheating that took place in the AC compressor. This often means the compressor is about to fail or has already failed. 